Hi, I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Wednesday, January the 6th. News today from Korea. North Korea says it's exploded a hydrogen bomb. The U.S. government says it's not ready to verify that that's so, but this hasn't stopped the usual coterie of Republican co politicians for finding yet another reason to deplore President Obama's leadership. This bomb explosion, if indeed it happened, is Obama's fault. That is, if it's not Bill Clinton's fault. The world keeps turning. Secretary of State Mark Martin, uh, the Republican Secretary of State, who said he's the most popular politician in Arkansas, stepped in it last month when he said he was going to close the state capitol on weekends. He cited security concerns. Even Governor Asa Hutchinson wouldn't stand up for the Secretary of State on this one at the time. Today he announced he'd reconsidered after hearing from a lot of people, none of whom apparently were complimentary. The capitol will indeed continue to be open on the weekends, including this weekend uncertain yet or whether some other security changes are in store, such as closing the tunnel underneath the Capitol's front steps. Guns remain in the news following President Obama's news release about a desire to take some executive action to curb gun violence. Uh, Republican politicians, as I said yesterday, continue to excoriate him for the action. Other news today on the gun front, we've got uh, Walmart announcing that it's going to begin checking customers in Texas who are carrying weapons on whether they have license to carry those handguns. That's a product of a new state law. They've been debating in Baxter County, Arkansas, an ordinance that would allow county employees to carry guns in the county courthouse and elected officials as well. A former prosecutor has stood up, has stood up before the quorum court this week and said that idea is idiotic. Uh, what else? Janet Huckabee, the former governor, is campaigning for her uh, wife. Former governor's wife is campaigning for her husband Mike in the presidential caucus season in Iowa. She appeared at a gun range yesterday, and she too deplored President Obama's announcement on guns. And finally, a good read on the Arkansas blog today is from a North Dakota philosophy professor who says, if you're not comfortable with the businesses that allow people to open carry inside, when you see somebody walk in with a gun, there's a simple thing to do. Get up and leave. Don't pay your bill. Just get out of there. Seems like sound advice. Speaking of strange stuff, Roy Moore, the Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, announced today he reiterated in an order that probate clerks in Alabama should not issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. He says his order against this still stands no matter what the U.S. Supreme Court says. This is the same man who was thrown out of his office for refusing to remove Ten Commandments from the Supreme Court of Alabama after a federal judge ruled it should not be there. He still thinks the law doesn't apply to him. More to come on this story, I'm sure. The Arkansas Arts Center yesterday announced its campaign for a $37 million bond issue to expand the Arts Center. Uh, it was revealed at that press conference that uh, private money will pay for the $116,000 or so that will be necessary to have this at a special election rather than at the March 1st primary election. It will be February 9th. This is so a very small number of people. They hope only Art Center supporters will vote for it. Nobody said where this money is going to come from. Will it come from people prearranged to get lucrative contracts on the work? That remains to be seen. This is still sort of a shadowy operation, operating as Little Rock normally does with insiders controlling things and telling you just what they think you need to know, which generally is not very much. Verizon Arena announced yesterday that it's going to impose new security measures uh, at the arena in North Little Rock. This will mean uh, metal screening for all who enter. The big news will be that women are not going to be able to take purses into the arena and men won't be able to take bags either or knapsacks, backpacks and that sort of thing. They say this is happening in arenas around the country. It's yet another outgrowth of, of the growing fear about unspecified forms of, of terrorism and other attacks in the United States. So do you like raccoon? Your chance to eat some is this Saturday. Saturday in Gillette, the annual fundraising coon supper is down there, plus a pre-supper reception at former Congressman Marion Barry's farm. The proceeds go to uh, worthy causes, including an ASU scholarship fund. You can eat ham if you don't like raccoon. Governor Asa Hutchinson says as we tape that he's going to have a news conference this afternoon. If uh, earth-shaking news emerges from that, be sure to check the Arkansas blog, arkansasblog.com, and find out what happened. We'll, we'll be following. I'm Max Brantley. I'll be back tomorrow.